Good morning and welcome. This is my first painting or venture into my art room since uh, my husband and I went away for a week. So of course I was absolutely um, looking forward to getting back into my art room. It's a terrible thing to be away on holiday and actually dream of being back painting. Oh my gosh, it's a... Um, it's a shame. But anyway, we did have a nice time away, a few little dramas with my husband's health again, but everything's back on track. So fingers crossed for a better um, few months ahead. Uh, this one is on a 60 by 30 canvas, and it's going to be very minimalistic colors. And currently I'm just working on the background. So I'll just jump in where I feel I need to let you know the colours I'm using and enjoy. This one was just white that I just added a tiny bit of the cool blue in. Um, I did really mean for it to be paler than this, but um, this is what colour it was. So, And of course, I'm just adding the white. I am using with these uh, this particular paint, I'm using my two new pouring medium, Keep It Simple, Kiss for short. It's by Global Paints Australia. It will be available worldwide, I'm told. So um, just bear with us, but there will be a link in the description box underneath this video if you want to inquire about it see um, you can inquire at when it may be available in your country okie doke so the second color was um it's called oh, uh, tahiti blue it was a global color but i'm not sure if they're actually making that color now um but that's what that was Okie doke, ready for the flip cups, let the magic happen and then do the tilt really nice and slowly when you do start the tilt. But this is just a little tap to let the paint go down like an izzy whizzy, let's get busy. Wow, this is gorgeous just on its own. I mean, I'm doing this for my background, but it's absolutely a gorgeous a marble looking piece. So it could absolutely be as simple as those three colors that I put in there to make an absolutely gorgeous art piece on its own. It really is. Or you could embellish it with whatever, but... Um, of course I'm going to push the boundaries and go a bit further with this but uh, when you're doing this tilting just be sure to really take your time there is absolutely no hurry 
make it part of your relaxation and your therapy during your art. Um, it shouldn't be rushed and, and just tilt. But when you have finished your tilting, make sure you recenter the paint so the paint isn't actually all left uh, the last place you tilted. So here we go for the good bits. Um, that is phalo blue or cool blue. It's often known as, um, and I'm just doing, yeah, I'm doing a ziggy zaggy kind of pattern with my colors that I'm going to lay down, just trying a different composition. But as you see, I'm only going to use minimalistic colors in this one. And that is just simply a black um, put in there. And I think the only other colour that I'm going to add in is metallic copper. So that might just add a little bit of a pop in there. Um, we'll go for it. Yes, now for that mini hair dryer. Oh, that was the piece I did before I went away on holiday. It's dried beautifully. I did finish it with a few embellishments with an art, an acrylic art pen. I just had a little doodle on it and um, I just give it a wipe over varnish, my wipe over varnish method, which is in my uh, playlist. So I didn't put resin on this. That particular one I did the wipe over but now I'm in and a chaos blowing this gorgeous piece with that awesome background so as you see very minimalistic colors and it's blowing out beautifully um, and with this particular part of the technique if you try this or you've done it before just take it slowly because you can certainly overdo it as I do many times but with this piece, I am going to um, take this down to my son that lives down on the Gold Coast because I think this is a little bit beachy. And I know that when I went to his place while visiting last week, he had a perfect spot for it. So um, this will go to him. Um, and it has dried absolutely beautiful. So happy with that. 
yet of course I'm going to do a few jilly embellishments. It wouldn't be the same if I did, didn't. Yes, I did use my little balloon. I wanted to, yeah, make it mine. Um, and I love the effects it puts in there. But it also can help you if you've got an area in your on your canvas that's got a lot of paint that you're worried that might the paint might crack because it's left in a big sort of lump there. So it's a good way of pushing your balloon into that paint and it takes off a lot of the paint. But look at that, it's gorgeous I know you can't actually see much of that gorgeous background on this particular one and that's why I am absolutely uh, maybe today maybe tomorrow I'm going to do a much larger piece with that kind of background um, and and of course maybe this style but a different composition but I am super duper happy with this it is gorgeous and I'm Happy to be back in my art studio and hopefully I'll find you guys well. And like I love to say to you guys to remind you if you're feeling sad, lonely or depressed, please ring a family member or a friend or a helpline. There is always somebody there to help you out. Please don't suffer in silence. But another trick also is just try and do something that you love and adore. It may be art or it may be exercise. Bye for now.